Hi all, this is just a quick look at a really weird setup I've got running now and it's basically linking the Z21 to the Ecos and making them run in tandem side by side now I wouldn't have done this if it weren't for Alan Watt who's mentioned it, that's his channel I'd just like to say a big thanks to Alan because he mentioned this setup because I think he runs it himself and it is a, it's just brilliant because uh, basically I've got the standalone Z21 system working with its router there and you run two wires out the two track wires go out the back I've got two going to a programming track at the moment but the other two are going along this long wire at the moment yeah, so the cable comes along and goes into the back of the ECOS on the sniffer port and then the ECOS will pick up on whatever command station you uh, have plugged into the back of it which I didn't know, I've never tried it before it works perfect with a Z21 no problems at all I've got a cab going here which is a diesel rail car which is on shuttle mode getting ready to go out and I've just been messing around with that I can have all the functions working I'll just turn off the sound there we go sound you can program all lighting and sound put a picture on there upload a picture and just have the full library of the ECOS loco, uh, ECOS loco on the Roco library as well so really impressed with that um, also I've got the camera loco in client mode so I can still have the camera loco working as well in tandem split down the side obviously camera there and the cab for I'll just move it along, you can see me here waving it's just bonkers this you can see that working quite nice and of course you can have the cab overlay which it'll load up now there's the cab, there's my layout it's sort of brilliant and of course you can adjust that camera up and down on my layout accordingly move it left and right and that's the shuttle mode just gone out yeah so pretty impressed with that so I can have the cab working like that and even have touch cab working on this one I'll just select the camera loco put the sound on for it So I can have, you can have touch cam working as well, which I've also got linked to the system. And uh, also an Android phone, so I've got one, two, three, the Ecos 4 and a Flashman Profi Boss as well. Uh, I'll just log on to that loco. So that'll work the camera loco or whatever loco and that's going through the LNET adapter. So got quite a lot of things going on here. So and another item obviously is the eye train and that's linked onto the system as well. It's got a shuttle train coming in though. That's an automatic mode. So yeah, really impressed with this uh, setup now. It's, didn't think it'd be possible to do it, but it's working uh, very nice. Really impressed with that. And of course, I've got eye train. I thought I'd try that as well. Logged onto the system. Let's get out of that. I've got eye train running as well, which I've been building, obviously. Uh, I've gone on to the main lines. I'm actually building the main lines now, so it's all taking shape.
Yeah, so you can have that in a full screen. You can work it on the ECOS. And that's working through the router of the Z21, that image. So controlling that on the E-Cross and looking on the Z21 at the camera. There's a little car going past now. So you could have, you could just work your points. Shut that off. That's it. shot there from the camera loco This is so good watching the layout from this angle. It really is. Streaming the images live, it's just brilliant. Into the tunnel. It's just gone off into its shuttle run again, up the side, coming out here. It looks really cool on this uh, prototypical cab view. really good on the cab view it's good because you can actually move the camera move that picture around up and down while you're moving you can even zoom it in and out so you can position that camera in the cab the way you'd want it set up for your layout What it does advise in the Z21 instruction manual is to have the router, if possible, in the centre of the layout for best possible, uh, you know, uh, communication connections. If you have a massive layout, and this isn't a big layout, but I'll probably move the router towards the centre of the layout anyway. see this rail car move out in a minute and have it going in the opposite direction of the uh, camera loco yeah so that is the Z21 Android controller and you can see what I do on there corresponds on the ECOS moves the dial Best of both worlds. Shut 
sort of runs off out. I'll watch it pass on the uh, camera loco now. Just see it going round. See it passing somewhere around this part of the layout. There it is. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Let's start the full screen mode. What's even more bizarre on the iPad, you can actually configure points, so you can control points on from the Z21. As you can see, that point is working on through the sniffer. I can't, I can't even believe you can control points as well. So you could take a picture and have your points overlaid. And work it on the Z21 and it will talk to the ECOS as well. As you can see that point is moving there. I can't believe you can even do that as well. That's like gobsmacked that these two systems will talk to each other. I tried it out on the Android tablet and because it's a beta version it doesn't work. I can't get it working on that for some reason. This is an upgrade but on the iPad you can configure the points, add an address to them, no problem, and uh, get them working. So that is unbelievable. I just need to add a picture because this particular iPad hasn't got a camera on board. So just imported a picture from my camera using the adapter for the iPad because I haven't got a camera on this. And uploaded the picture, selected it in the Z21 software. There it is. Use. There we go. So that particular point which I've just put in, which is working, um, press and hold. Um, press and hold. Rotate. Move that point to where that one is. Uh, press and hold again, zoom in to make it match the size. This is what I love about this software, it is absolutely amazing. It really is. Press and hold, zoom it in. It's easy to do. There's a the point. That's it. Back. Back. There we go. Can't believe that works. Got the picture uploaded of that particular area. You can do all sorts, you can do a higher zoom and get a lot more points in of a bigger junction. So that, just by touching the picture, it works and it works through the ECOS. On the sniffer port, everything works perfect. I can't believe that. Yeah, I've just got an overhead shot of uh, my layout junction, so I'm going to add some points on there. Um, <clears throat> I have a bit of confusion here because this one is fine, that works all, all right, no problems. But I noticed there's a difference in variation on the addresses on the Z21 as opposed to to the ECOS where it's wired up on. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I'm going to add a point in the yard now. So uh, the address is 53 on the ECOS. We've identified it as 53, and you do that just by pressing Spanner, 
and press over what point you want to investigate or whatever piece of track and it's that one so you press spanner question mark and it gives you a control board information at that point address 53 plus f I'm going to give it four more spaces on the Z21 so that's 57 isn't it yeah 57 so I've got my picture I've got the point so I'm going to grab that point press and hold it actually no before you do that you've got to go into the um, track control settings uh, fire over to that one that's it press and hold point rotate the point so which way you want it to go like that. and then just touch it touch it slightly and move it into position and that's it so that's done so press and hold it again um, what do we do next hang on tap Plus, I think you put. Oh, what do I do next now to get that up and running? Ah, oh, that's it. You tap on it, press configuration, and I put in address 50, 57. Hopefully that'll work. Press configuration. Yep, and that works exactly perfect. So then you get back out, go back into the layout. That should now work, yeah, and it does perfect. But there's a variation of four spaces on the addresses as opposed to what it is on the actual ECOS. So, if you're doing that, if you do set it up like this, you've got to bear that into consideration. But overall, it is absolutely fantastic to see an over -air, overhead shot like that, and you can put that into an even bigger panoramic view like that. And you can see it's just it's just so good it just works brilliantly and you can see it working on the ecos but to have a photograph of that area it's just absolutely brilliant i love it i think it's a brilliant system because there's no messing around drawing trap plans like you do on an ecos even though i do like doing that it's just a photograph so you just overlay all your points and it's so easy to configure once you've logged them on the decoders I just think it's an absolutely fantastic system you could have an even higher overhead shot and bring in the whole junction it's just brilliant I absolutely love it it's great one of the best control systems I've ever seen for setting up